In the past, the industry has used RTUs and other intelligent devices that were out in the field. And they would collect information and typically send a small subset to the substation. A breaker's open, a breaker's closed, or something like that. Today, there's so much more information that we can transfer to the substation, but again, there's got to be a method of aggregating that data so that it makes it useful to a human to read. And so by using things like the Real-Time Automation Controller, RTAC, you can aggregate that data into several pieces of information and then transfer that information to the customer at the SCADA system. When we developed the RTAC, we were very sensitive to make sure that it would be compatible with existing devices because we want to make sure that people maximize their, uh, their investment in the devices that they already have. Some of the old devices were really designed to be uh, communicated with by a human through hyperterminal or some terminal emulation program. So we've designed into the RTAC the ability to communicate to those relays in that same manner. And then using a flexible parse program, we can parse out the information just as a human would and then store that information into tags. And those tags then can be sent to SCADA or used in user programs. And then as well, the RTAC can communicate with the latest and greatest IEC 61850 GOOSE or MMS communications protocols to devices that are brand new and use all of that information together to create an image of what's going on in the substation. Configuring a substation in the RTAC is really very simple. Select from the insert menu the device that you want, say it's a 351S device. So you select that device, then select the protocol that the device will speak. Select the tags that you would like to choose that uh, you'll retrieve from that device. Then you can copy and paste that device as many times as you want. If you have four feeders and all four feeders are going to use the same relay, then you can just copy and paste that device four times and then you're good to go. Rather than creating a device that will just gather data from IEDs and deliver it to a SCADA system, we wanted to create a device that's far more intelligent than that so that you can aggregate the data that is derived from the IEDs or locally and create some information and then send that information or perhaps perform some logic on that and create an action that happens. So to do that, we've designed a 61131 logic engine into the RTAC and that's really the heart of the RTAC. To enable the customer to be able to take advantage of that, uh, we've exposed a lot of that engine in the tag processor as well, the customer can create some user logic and do 61131 logic in that program using continuous function chart, structured text, or even ladder diagram. The customer can create customized programs to allow them to perform whatever kind of things that they want to do in their uh, SCADA system. The IEC 61850 MMS protocol is actually fairly complex, but we've used software to make the configuration extremely simple for the customer. So using Accelerator Architect, the customer can configure an SEL device or a non-SEL device simply by dragging the device configuration to a project pane. From that project pane, then, they can create an RTAC in there as well and then select another tab and just map over the data that they want. That creates a file that they can then import into the RTAC and then the configuration is basically done.